to invite Mr. Xiang Chen, the MP for Scarborough as well. So, we are welcoming the MP for Scarborough as well. Thank you very much and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. 大家好，我很高兴见到你们。啊、uh, ，今天 we are here to celebrate 加拿大的一百五十二年啊、uh, 周年，所以我很高兴到这里。Very delighted to be here at CTCCO. I want to congratulate the president, all the honored guests, and in particular my former colleague, former MPP Su Wang. On this wonderful launch of the Comfort Women Association, and to congratulate Sue on all the work she did on this file in the provincial legislature. We are so blessed to live in Canada, aren't we? Yes. Can we give a big round of applause for Canada? Yes. And today we celebrate Canada. We celebrate our diversity, and we celebrate the incredible contributions that Chinese Canadians make to our country. Chinese Canadians. Started coming to Canada in the 1800s. In the 1880s, in fact, 17,000 Chinese came to Canada as railroad workers. They worked hard under very stressful and dangerous conditions to build the transcontinental railroad that connects Canada from coast to coast. We should be proud of their sacrifice and pay a tribute to them. This morning I was at the railroad commemoration, and we never should forget this very important history of Canada. We should also remember that following those years, generation after generation faced the Chinese head tax, the Chinese Exclusion Act. We cannot forget this a very important history. But today we stand proud in this Canada that is multicultural, diverse, and inclusive, and we should always keep it that way. So let us celebrate Canada. Let's continue to build an even better Canada for future generations to come. Thank you, CTCCO. Happy Canada Day. Happy 152 to Canada. Thank you. Thank you, Canada. Thank you, Sean.